I've been using this phone as my daily driver for several weeks now and it's really starting to grow on me. I wanted a sturdy phone with a battery that lasts all day and this really fits the bill and my budget. The battery is huge on this phone and lasts me almost two days even when I am playing games all day long. Fingerprint reader is fast, screen is clear and bright. Speakers are nice and loud and people hear me clearly on the other side. Phone is really responsive and doesn't lag while I am playing my games. This phone is also really sturdy and doesn't need a case which is nice. It also comes with a glass screen protector pre-installed. There's only two things that I don't really like. The haptic feedback could be improved. I think the device is too big or the motor isn't spinning fast enough so the feedback isn't fast enough. And 2 the camera is just average but I am not complaining with the price I am paying. I have been searching for a rugged phone for my routine hiking. So far, I am very satisfied with this phone. Large screen, which is brighter than my Huawei P20. Thick shelf protects my phone from falling off. Water resistant that makes me free more relax while crossing rivers as I do not have to take special care of my phone. The process speed is fast enough for playing most games or watch movie. Resolution for the camera is decent. The only issue is that the phone is very heavy. I guess that is what rugged phone supposed to be. Be aware of that. I was looking for waterproof and rough and tough smartphone, so that even my kids drops onto water, floor, phone would not get hurt. For this price this phone has best features like face id recognition and fingerprint sensor to unlock the phone. The fastness of phone unlock and response is really fast. You can feel the strongness of phone by looking and touch itself. Already multiple real incidents to happen to test the waterproof and dropping and nothing happened to phone. Camera and video is good and also there are multiple modes to capture a phone like beauty, bokeh, mono. Out of all I like the pro mode where you can adjust the exposure, light, colors and etc and this is super helpful. Click link in description for more reviews.